Making payments has never been easier. Sending and receiving money online has become a so common that you can even see beggars with QR codes. Digital wallets have revolutionized how we transact in the world and they just keep getting better. Every day new digital payment platform crop up. So, what makes Google Pay different? What is the secret of its success? Welcome back to Thought Control and today we are going to discuss how Google Pay works. Google initially brought the Tez app to join the whole of digital wallets in India. It was later rebranded with Google Pay, which was originally launched in the UK with the name Android Pay. Google Pay, just like other payment platforms, enables sending and receiving money online. But unlike other digital wallets, the money is taken out or received directly from your bank accounts. So there is no concern of having digital wallets that are accepted only at selected places or of having an extra step to transfer money to your bank account. Transforming the payment market system in India, making UPI-based payments the norm. And at least to receive payments, a person doesn't even have to be on the Google Pay app. It even has a website to simplify the money transfer process. The only thing a user has to in order to enjoy the benefit of the app is link the bank account with Google Pay, set the UPI pin, voila, you are done. Instant transaction at the will of your thumb. But the main reason behind the success of Google Pay is Tez Shield, a multi-layered security with 24-7 protection from fraud. But how does it work? Google Pay uses the EMV payment tokenization specification. So merchants do not have access to your actual credit card number. The service keeps customer payment information private by replacing the customer's credit or debit card. The funding primary account number FPAN with a tokenized device primary account number DPAN and creates a dynamic security code generated for each transaction. The dynamic security code is the cryptogram in a EMV mode transaction and the dynamic card verification value in a magnetic stripe data emulation mode transaction. Users can also remotely halt the service on a lost phone via Google's Find My Device service. To pay at point of sale, users hold their authenticated Android device to the point of sale system's NFC reader. Android users authenticate unlocking their phone by using biometrics, a pattern or a passcode. Users choose Google Pay as their payment method and authenticate with biometric, a pattern or a passcode. User can add payment cards to the service in any of four ways through the payment card listed on their Google accounts by taking a photo of the card being provisioned from within the card issuer's app or by entering the card information manually. And that's the how Google Pay turns your phone into your personal banking system. As of 2020, it is currently available in 40 countries. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you have any feedback, please let us know in the comment section below. And do not forget to share and subscribe to the channel. In a clear. Hi. Say hello to everybody. Hello guys.